Okay, hi guys, my name is Zap, and uh, welcome back to Snap Map Tutorials. This is number three. So, when I was playing the November 4 featured map, I noticed that there is a decent objective screen utilized by those maps. Now, these objective screens utilize data pad, which are very efficient in giving out instructions to the player. So, this adds a lot of narrative or instructions to the player and is also a great way to instruct the players on what to do next or simply adding some story into your maps. We're gonna do that now. So, we have the basic template loaded up. Uh, this is perfect because we already have the victory condition here on the small skylight and we already have a player start. All right, first things first, we are going to add under communications a data pad message. There you go. So the data pad message displays an overlay to the player's HUD containing custom text, add world bending information or narrative elements such as logs, emails, or mission objectives. Very nice to have. All right, so we're gonna put the data pad message here. Another thing that we will be adding is a player input. So we're going to go ahead and select player input. My keyboard isn't working for some reason. There we go. So we're going to add player input under players and team, player input. There we go. We got the player input and a daypad message set up. Let's go to our player start, press G, on spawn. We will be enabling this player input. Arrange the nodes. Like I told you last tutorial, if you don't arrange your nodes, if you're not being anal about your nodes, if something goes wrong, you'll be having a lot of hard you'll be having a hard time debugging the whole thing. Okay. Alright, so now we have enabled our player input. It's trying to press G on the player input. On pressed. Show. There you go. That's as simple as it gets. So we're gonna set our player input now. Press X on the player input node. Okay, we're gonna set the player input like how we saw it in... Uh, what the fuck's the name of that map? I forgot. We're gonna set... Uh, we're gonna set our player input to... Uh, scoreboard. That's what we saw on the core. Yeah. I keep forgetting the name of that map. You know, it's, a, it's, it's an amazing map, but I keep forgetting the name. So, all right, so we have set this to scoreboard. So from here on in, every time that we press scoreboard, okay, so now we're ready to set our data pad message. And we press X here, we'll see the properties. All right, so for objectives, we'll, be, we'll not be using a concatenated paragraph. We'll be using bullets. So each so for bullets, each message becomes a bullet point. So that means there's a new line for every message line that we see here instead of the concatenated paragraph. That is, every message line will be combined into a single paragraph. So let's use bullets here. Uh, change our data pad background image to uh, Samuel Hayden. And we're going to do the show type to a different uh, style. So the default show type will show up a small notification on the right side of your screen whenever you uh, see a data pad message. We're going to do message only. Let's now go ahead and set the text for our messages. Obviously, the title is the title of the data pad message. Subtitle will be the subtitle and the message lines will be our actual text. Let's go ahead and set this now. All right, I forgot what this is called. When you uh, press Shift Six, you see that symbol, and you press any number from one to zero, one, two, three, four, five. You can change the color of the text this way. I just forgot what that is called, but that is uh, so. That's an option to change the color in your data pad message, or if you want, you know, uh, on the text message on. On the world text, it's up to you. As long as it uses a text that will be shown on screen, you can change the color using that. And not just the RGB values that you would see on either world text or messages. All right, so now we have set everything that we need to set on the data pad message and the player input. Let's go ahead and 
try the map out. Now remember, we have set the player input to be enabled on spawn and since we have already spawned, the player input should be available. So we're gonna press tab now. There we go. Objectives, basic template. You're in the basic template of Doom Snap map. Escape this map by using the map, the exit terminal. All right, there's just one problem that we've seen when we press tab and that is when we use the scoreboard, it actually shows us the scoreboard. <laughs> so I have, uh, I have not released the tab button when you see it flashing when you see this when you saw the scoreboard flashing all right so it's time to remove the uh, scoreboard using this one simple trick we're gonna we're gonna node on spawn with another object and that is from players and team this time we're gonna use gameplay no actually this is from gameplay I'm sorry about that so gameplay settings there we go Select active. There we go. Alright, so on the gameplay settings, you will see a bunch of gameplay uh, related stuff in there. We're gonna go to the option snap help behavior. Now the snap mail help behavior is actually our tab button on the keyboard. So we're gonna change this to do nothing all right so we have show scoreboard and do nothing you select do nothing press space to apply the changes and we're gonna try the map once again go all right so now we are in the map and we're gonna try pressing tab again to bring up our objectives there we go so our scoreboard is no longer showing up that that is neat so that is the basic way of doing objective uh, objective screens you could actually use a different uh, input for that you know instead of on spawn on our player input you can actually you know you can use uh, modules or volumes it's up to you you know all right so thank you very much for watching my name is Zeb be sure to tune back for more snap map tricks and tips I hate saying that word, tricks and tips. Anyway. Victory! Uh, whatever. I'll see you guys soon!